Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to a series that you haven't seen in, I believe, three months now. Um, I'll probably talk about it throughout this race, but let's just say pretty much... I would say around the time when I stopped doing this series, which I believe was March 1st, I was not really feeling well physically, and honestly, I was getting a little bored of this series, but now I'm fully back with this series. I'm going to try to finish up these remaining five races and five episodes, as next week, F123 finally comes out, and uh, I can be free from F122. <laughs> But without further ado, uh, you can probably see, yeah, the last time I played this was April 20th. God damn. Okay, so for this race, we qualified a stellar P3 in the rain too. It was raining very hard, and somehow <laughs> I pulled a P3 in a Toyota out of all these cars, which is very good. But looking at our stats here, obviously, you know, third, fifth, first, sixth, first, so... Uh, Hopefully either a podium or just maybe a top five. We'll see. Hopefully we can hang on to this podium and uh, maybe catch up on Massa, hopefully. So anyways, let's go do this. 13 laps of the British Grand Prix. Ah, here we are. A sight we haven't seen in three months. <laughs> Inside the cockpit. There's so much stuff I forgot when I was doing this uh, career mode series. <laughs> There's so much stuff I forgot. I'm going to have to get uh, used to it now. <laughs> Again. Anyways, let's go. We're behind the Ferraris. Both Ferraris. Both McLarens are behind us. But rev up to the five lights. And away we go. Not really a good start from us, but obviously... Nah, it was a good start. It was a good start. But Hamilton's trying to challenge us. Oh, gets cut off. And he's all the way back and forth. Man, that was a really... It was an okay start for the most part. I was going to say, too, is because, you know, I've been away for like three months. Obviously, don't expect me to start well. Also, I started to play more with traction control off because I've been, I've been practicing in F122. And now I feel like I can actually do it in the other games, which is very nice. Especially with the controller. Oh, Bruh. oh, that okay? That was bad. That kind of hampered our run down to cops. There goes Hamilton. <laughs> Are we gonna be able to get back at him? That's what I wonder. Oh, oh, we gotta run. No, he's too good on these straights. But on the turns, we're very good. Kimi Raikkonen gets the fastest lap, of course, because he's he's leading. <laughs> uh, now our I guess our goal now is just to really chase down Hamilton to get that podium. You? Oh, and already we have a caution. Okay, I wonder if somebody spun. Okay, so from looking back at the footage here, apparently the BMW uh, has a problem. I guess there's some puncture. It's not showing engine smoke. I'm not sure if it's just that or. Oh nope, never mind. It's an engine failure. <laughs> I thought he spun originally, but then, uh, oh, oh, okay, safety car already on lap two, that's, uh, interesting. <laughs> so we have the chance to come into the pits already and pit for some tires, but, man, it's <laughs> so early. Maybe we could try to get, an, like, an early strategy and kind of be aggressive. Strategy is available. Ooh, new strategy. Let me guess. They want us to come in now. Are you serious? Okay, I guess we can change to it. But I'm pretty sure the safety car is going to come in this lap. I'm pretty sure because it has been two laps. And it usually comes in after two laps. Hi, how are you? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Damn, we have some great strategies here. <laughs> In the Toyota F1 team. <laughs> you know what? No, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna probably wait. Or so I don't I don't know if these guys are gonna pit. Okay, anyways, we're going back to racing here. 
Ooh, sliding out of that last turn. We got a eh, we got a good restart. Yeah, we launched. Oh my god, we launched away from Jensen Button. Here we are in Lewis Hamilton. We're catching up to him. Think we can make a move for it? Yes, we can. There we go, dive bomb. Touching a little. He's not giving up yet. Ooh, there we go. Got it. Third place is ours again. I noticed too, we can gain a lot of time on these guys in the corners. Our car is obviously not good on the streets, as you see right now, but in the turns, we can definitely get away from them, which is very, very good. Can use that to our advantage. No. I'm I'm probably going to pit around when these guys are pitting, or maybe I'll do it like a lap early or so. Maybe this lap we can lap, lap six. All right, here we come in, into the pits. Here we go. Pretty sure these guys... Oh, my God. Yeah, so these guys are definitely coming in at lap seven. Oh, DRS enabled. Is anybody else? No, nobody else is coming into the pits with us. This is a this might be a risky strategy, but we're I'm willing to try it at least. Go, go, go. Okay, I see people are pitting. Ferrari, McLaren, obviously, yep. Now I I mean I doubt we're gonna get in front of the Ferrari, but hopefully we can try to get out in front of the McLaren. Oh god, I went off a little wide there. Let's see. I think we might actually get the McLaren. Or right, hopefully that's a McLaren in the pits. The Ferrari is long gone. Is that Hamilton? That's Hamilton. Oh, we got him. Yes. But DRS is enabled, though, so... Not sure if he's going to try to catch us down the Wellington straight, but we shall see. The gap to the go. car head is 10 .6 oh, is seconds. that another McLaren? I think that's Alonso. Got out in front of him. Good. Alright, back to third place we are. So that strategy was good. <laughs> it's a messy strategy, but hey, it worked. Worked very well. See, Alonso's creeping up on us. <laughs> oh, boy. oh yeah, he's definitely getting us. No. <laughs> but it's fine because these next few turns are corners. Oh. Went off the track a little bit. That was a little dirty, but I went for the gap at least. Now we head down to cops. <laughs> He's gonna get out. Yeah, he's gonna get in front of us, but during this turn, just like on lap one, he's gonna slow down a little bit. And we'll use that to our advantage here. Ah, man. Catching up, though. And we got DRS, too, this time, but I don't know if it'll be enough, maybe? I don't know. The car is very draggy on the straights, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. But we can make it up in the turns, though, so. We're going to try to do the same thing as we did on lap 1 and 2. Okay, wow, only three more laps? Damn, this race flashed by so fast. Oh yeah, as you see, here we go. Go down for a dive bomb. Ah, uh, I didn't get it fully, but we can do it around the outside of this turn, maybe. There's five laps of fuel remaining. Perfect. <laughs> oh, what a battle that was. That was great. Okay, we should be good now. Even though he's catching up to us now. We got a few corners here. So that should allow us to get away from him and hopefully cruise to P3. Oh yeah, I guess since, well... I guess since, you know, we're cruising here to P3. And, or maybe not. I guess I'll just explain, you know, why I haven't been doing to this series since March. So yeah, last episode was March 1st. Pretty much four days before the first race of the 2023 season. Pretty much at the time, um, I think I was still recovering from a sickness. I claimed from SI, Six Invitational. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody got sick after that, which is pretty unfortunate. So yeah, I was still recovering from that. And also, I think at the time too, I was suffering from burnout from playing too much of the F122 game. And obviously, you know, this game too. <laughs> and so I was like, you know what, I'll just do you know, one more episode, since it was episode 5 of a 10-part series, and kind of take, like, a little summer break type of thing, and come back whenever I feel like it. And now, since, you know, we're here, F123 is revealed, looking great, by the way, I cannot actually wait for that game. And now that that's scheduled for June 16th, I thought, hey, I might as well try to finish this series instead of just, you know, shelving it and thinking it never happened. 
And, uh, well, here we are. <laughs> We're doing the sixth part. Hopefully I can get these other four parts done by June 16th. I hope so. That's my goal. That's my plan. Alongside, of course, Siege stuff. I know many people probably don't want to watch this or don't really, you know, know anything about F1 in general. And that's alright. Honestly, F1, like, it may be boring now, obviously. But, in my opinion, it's still a fun series to watch. And just support and just see, like, all the technological advancements in the cars and stuff like that. It, it's a very advanced sport, in my opinion. It's very advanced motorsport. Obviously, I know one team dominating doesn't make it fun, but, hey, <laughs> it's alright. I mean, in, I mean, my, in my eyes, in my eyes, this season is alright for me as an Aston Martin fan, because Alonso getting those podiums and Aston Martin actually building a good car... Oh god, and whilst we were talking about that, Hamilton is right up on our tail again. <laughs> I think he might get us here again. But I think we might actually have the the room to actually defend. Yes, we will. Yep, he can't make it around the outside of there. Man, Alonso and Coltar, they are closer now than ever. Also, I did not realize, but we are on the final lap of this race. I was talking way too much. Hamilton, he's trying to go, he's going to go around the outside, but he's not going to succeed at that. <laughs> okay, Kimi Raikkonen wins the race for Ferrari. Very nice, Ferrari won too. It's rare you see that nowadays. But we're going to come off the final turn after a great battle with Lewis Hamilton. We will claim P3 in the British Grand Prix. <laughs> Fantastic. Top job, my friend, top job. I was a bit worried about this one at the start of the weekend, but you've pulled through. Thank you. So, another excellent win from Ferrari. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, I know it's a bit of a boring answer, but the truth is they simply had the best speed package on the day, and a driver who knows how to take advantage of that. It doesn't matter how much time you spend poring over the stats and planning strategies if you can't keep the pace, and our winner today showed they could do both. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari do it again. All right, what a race that was, a return race. <laughs> it was solid, and we had a nice battle with Lewis Hamilton. Very nice. So obviously we claimed third place, 15 points. Massa, our rival, claimed 18 points. So that means we're nine points behind him in this championship. And we're 60, or we're 105 points for our constructor standing. So very nice, very nice. All right. So now, from the British Grand Prix, we take a season break up until the Belgian Grand Prix, so I can't, can't wait to drive on that track with these cars. But overall, solid race, solid return to the series. Uh, man, I, <laughs> I hope at least something will happen to Massa, and uh, we can claim this championship. We shall see what happens. Spa is one of my best tracks on the F1 games, so hopefully we can try and win there, maybe. But otherwise, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, you know, even though it's not Siege, I hope still, I hope those people would re enjoy regardless because this is something that I enjoy doing. And I'm glad to be doing it again, honestly. That felt really, really nice. But of course, I don't want to make this too long. So if you did enjoy, please make sure to drop a like and a subscribe is always appreciated. And without further ado, I will see you guys in Belgium. Goodbye.